it was a tough, um, a tough side. Uh, big ups to Uruguay for, you know, the pressure they put us under. Load of the cups, bro. These are delivery men. These are delivery men. Look, 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 look. Right here we have a uh, pizza. It's called a uh, chicken eater pizza. Put them olives. I thought you wanted a pizza. I thought you wanted a pizza, Jim. Really showed their heart out there the whole 80 minutes. So. Full credit to them and also full credit to our boys that will be able to, I guess, stay composed and problem solve on the way and uh, come out with one like that, so yeah. And it all comes unstuck again. Geordie Barrett now, McKenzie. Stands a kick ahead for himself. McKenzie with the chase. 50 22's on here. McKenzie's kept it in field quite superbly for Will Jordan back on the inside. What a bit of skill and class from Damien McKenzie and Will Jordan with the finish. <laughs> Such a cool um, occasion. Really enjoyed the week, and yeah, like like you say, getting back in the black jersey was um, yeah super cool, man. You would enjoy the set piece battle up front and a few tie heads and a few turnovers at line out. Won't pretend to know what's going on there, but um, <laughs> no, nah, it's great to see from the back line. And um, yeah, I think we're in a good spot heading into what'll be a uh, hugely challenging week. Yeah, hello, a long time no see, my friend. And, and like, why do you keep coming to me? during these interviews, bro. I try to walk past. <laughs> you made eye contact with me and you told me to come here, so um, you're just everywhere. Sam. Hey. hey, good to see you, Sammy. Um, congratulations on 150. I congratulate you again. Um, really nice to lead the boys out tonight. Um, haven't been out front for a while, so uh, really nice. And I thought the crowd gave me an awesome reception, so pretty pretty humbling and pretty, uh, pretty cool moment. That's uh, George Bell on NZR Plus. Uh, Uruguay versus New Zealand, we're signing out. On the banks of the River Seine, you'll find Notre Dame that church is old. They started building it almost 900 years ago, but then the old dame caught a flame. In 2019, Notre Dame Cathedral behind me was decimated by fire. The Paris police chief said they didn't know who did it, but he had a hunch. Speaking of fire, we found another red-hot chilli player. I think I've already met Chile's most handsome man, Ian, so I'm really sorry. That award is taken. Who is he? Trust me, he's pretty good looking. Yeah. 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 It is me. Yeah. It should be. <laughs> we also met a direct Dutchman. Why don't the Dutch play rugby? The Dutch are too soft. Do you wear an orange jersey because you're Dutch? Well, it's not specifically orange. It's more uh, beige. No, that's orange. Come on, mate. <laughs> well. But the big news is Scotland battling Ireland this weekend. These lads are on a kilt trip. This, this tartan is um, it's called the Dress Gordon tartan. I refer to it as my falling about tartan because we have a beer and some pizza down the front of it. <laughs> but what about the main course, the Celtic clash? We do have a chance. Pretty slim, but we do have a chance. I think we've got the pace, the speed coming through from the backs. I think we can create problems in the Irish defence. Uh, my name's Terry, I'm from uh, Glasgow, and like these boys are from Edinburgh. Uh, <laughs> we know a bit about reality in life. Unlike my friends, I think we're going to struggle. But Terry wasn't about to lie down and give up. You think it's only 15 bodies against 15 bodies, so you never say never. And uh, let's hope we do it. When you say bodies, it sounds a bit Braveheart to me. Uh, <laughs> of course it is, it's rugby. <laughs> and at the scene of the fire, some burns. Well, for Scotland's king in law, freedom's sword will strangely draw. Free men stand and free and fall, let them follow me. Tyrants fall in every blow, liberties in every blow. Let us do our day. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. That will get the people. I'm, I'm going. It's got me going. Let's go, Scotland. That should be our hacker, and I should be on the pitch singing that before. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Terry. Time for the Northern Nations to bring their war cry. James McConey, NZR Plus. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> George, I'm only doing this if you're going to sing later on. Uh, I will. I'll sing for you. I, I promised. Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. Brandon Whitelock. Um, what number bus ride is this for you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, we're on a bus full of Kiwis. Yep. Oh, just living the dream. Yep. Just living the dream, eh? It just creates a home away from home yeah. for us, really. Yeah. And it's a good vibe, and everybody's got some good banter. Yeah. It's really cool. And this is your third World Cup? Yep. Supporting Sam? Yep. It's actually the fourth, isn't it? Fourth. 
That's a bit old. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> um, you were saying, you know, you've probably formed a lot of relationships on the bus rides. Is that right? Dead right. We've yeah. um, been with the Canes, the White Locks, the Piranaras, Cody Taylor's parents, yeah. every of the Barretts. So, yeah, a long time special friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Rick, I understand I probably could have got the French angle in Lyon. The viewers might like it if I do a piece from the south of France. Calm down, calm down. I've got a big one for us. I've, I've cast the line and I've caught a big French fish. Former captain. Uh, I, knew I'd, I knew you'd like that. OK. Basta, it is so nice to be here in the sun, in the south of France, in the kind of Provence region where the French national team are also basing themselves this week. And it looks like Antoine Dupont is back training with the side. So how important is it that they have him for a quarter final? It's, it's, it's very, very important. Uh, he's the best player in the world, so we all know the impact he has on the, on the team. He's also the captain. He was in a bad situation because uh, maybe you, you have to end your World Cup. Mm -hmm. It's very hard. Yeah. So now he's, he's back and um, we are very happy in France. And if we look at the teams that are performing well in this World Cup and, and who you'd love to play against and who would be the ideal candidates for semi-finals and finals, who are France going to fear? What, who are the teams that you're going to worry about stopping them getting there? Oh, for sure, uh, South Africa. Yeah. For More sure. than Ireland? Um, oh, it's 50-50. <laughs> it's 50-50. But uh, South Africa, is, they, are, they are very confident. They look very confident. They remember the game uh, in Marseille. Yeah. So I think they, they, they want their, um, their revenge. Because of the history that France and the All Blacks have, how much would that be a dream final for the French public? How much would they love to see those two teams meet again? In France, we have a lot of respect for New Zealand, for the All Blacks. You can't, uh, you, you can see just uh, when, the, when they, they do the haka, the, you know, it's very loud yeah. because it's, uh, just respect and uh, yeah it's a final dream a home world cup how high are your hopes for the title this time you have to be focused yeah you have uh, seven games to be world champion it's maybe one one month and a half we just have to stay focused one month and a half it's hard yeah but uh, when you know the prize after just uh, it's, you, sometimes you in the in the, in the life you have to sacrifice something for your dream. Yeah. And uh, I think for the for the French team, that's the moment. Yeah. They can do it. Yes.